Let me ask you this, though. As we, st as we, as we sit here today, we look at Jokic. Some would say he's the best big man in basketball, obviously has the credentials. He's a reigning, defending NBA champion. We know what numbers, what level of efficiency he brings to the table. But I got to tell you, Shaq, when I look at it from a talent perspective and I see this brother Joel Embiid balling the way that he has balled, the skill set that he has at his size, there are very few people on the planet that have been able to be what Joel Embiid is. How do you compare those two big boys? And they're big boys. They're both, they're both great players. But if Joel doesn't win, you're going to kill him. You. Yeah. Your show. Yeah. You, Big Perk, J.J. Reddick. Right. Joker has that edge. He's won, right? Right. So, you know, even though, you know, the numbers are, are different. And I, uh, I had an interview the other day, and I, I can remember having similar, lesser numbers than Joel and B. And I asked the great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, what do you think about Shaq? And his response was, he's pretty good, but he hasn't won yet. Mm -hmm. I don't broke my heart, but it was the truth. Listen, Joel Embiid is a fabulous talent. Definitely number one, number two. But if he doesn't win in this world we live in, you're going to kill him. Well, listen, I did, I did it to you. Hey, I, which, I told hey. you you had to win. You remember you that conversation? You, you, you did. You did. And you know, listen, I, like I said, I, I, I had similar numbers, but... Until you win, I mean, I I know what Joel is going through, and, you know, I, I definitely want him to win because he's he can do it all. He's a great player. What does it take, of, though, Shaq? He, what, what, what's the, there's an ingredient that comes with it because you can't do it by yourself, and we know from a skill set and from a numbers perspective, Joel B puts up the numbers. I told you, you called me, and we were talking about this the other day. When you had Penny and those boys in Orlando, you didn't win yet. You got to the finals, but you lost to Houston. You didn't have, you had Eddie Jones in L.A., but you didn't win. And then Kobe came and ultimately developed, and then y'all three-peated. What is it going to take for Joel B to capture a championship in Philadelphia? Well, Joe's going to have to be Joe, and that 34 that he's averaging during the regular season, he's going to have to maintain that, probably add three, four, five onto that. Mm. Max, Max is going to have to step up. So you, def, you need a one-two punch. But the key is one of my favorite players, Tobias Harris. He's going to have to. He's going to have to be very, very consistent. You've heard me say many times, and I will always say, I would not have four championships without Brian Shaw, Rick Fox. Robert Ory, Antoine Walker, James Posey, Udonis Haslam. The others are going to have to step up and be special. Like for, I, I don't know what, like, you know, Tobias averages now. Let's just say he averages 15. If you can average 20, Mr. Tobias, or 21 or 22, now you're talking. He's got to like, be more aggressive. He's he got to be more aggressive. He does. 